A local business's terrible luck is drawing attention to the inequities that still exist in our community. This week, a car crash along Truce sent a pickup truck through the front entrance at Anchor Island Coffee. Yeah, it made the shops two owners have to figure out quickly what their insurance covers and what it doesn't. So this was brick, all brick, and this was all glass, which means all the glass came into inside. Security camera footage shows the crash on the corner sending a pickup truck right through the window of Armando Vasquez's Anchor Island coffee shop. And I looked at the cameras and I saw a truck all the way inside the shop and I'm like, oh, I gotta go. The shop was closed so nobody was hurt. The people in the truck ran off and now Armando and co-owner Mike Hastings are working through insurance to replace the equipment. So we have adequate coverage to cover anything that was damaged that we put in. But they aren't sure how much help they'll get to cover other costs. They were fortunate to get the coverage they have now because they struggled to find it when they opened their doors right before COVID. Due to the area we are in, not all of those companies are interested in insuring businesses in this space. Mike says a family friend in the insurance industry spent two full days calling around before finally finding one company with the proper coverage for the shop's outdoor seating and who would do business with them at all. Mike is convinced it's because they sit east of Troost Avenue, where redlining held that community back for generations. It's something that's out of our hands. It's one of those things we could have all the money in the world and that's not going to change what we're able to get. We reached out to the city who tells us they haven't heard of that specific complaint from other business owners, but now it'll start asking business owners about issues getting coverage in the future. Refusing to cover a business just because of its location is illegal, but the Insurance Information Institute tells Fox 4 there's a lot that goes into determining the costs of coverage, like crime rates, nearby police activity, or a business's own financial situation. That data didn't help Mike and Armando, and they say they didn't have the money to launch somewhere else. So now they wait while the community rallies around them, helping them pay employees like Alyssa Fuller today, even though the shop has been closed for much of the last week. I've never had a community come together like this. I just moved to Kansas City not that long ago. So it's just it's nice to see how good everybody is. So while we were at Anchor Island today, Mike found out that the estimate to fix that front entrance could be covered by the money that's already been raised in the GoFundMe that a customer started for them. You can find all that information under this story on our website, fox4kc.com.